off the hook. Turkey's central bank abandoned any plans for an extraordinary meeting to cut rates today, after yesterday's data showed the inflation rate slowed less than expected. With me down the line to discuss is Wolf Fabian Hungerland. Fabian, just hours after the central bank bucked government pressure and ruled out an early rate cut, Erdogan reiterated his assessment, lower rates brings slower inflation. Is there merit to Erdogan's calls, or is Turkey's pleasant inflation surprise more related to the situation in the oil markets? Well, Erdogan interestingly argues that lower rates mean lower inflation, but basically he contradicts any textbook um, economics with that. So what he actually, what we think he actually has in mind, though, is not inflation, but um, uh, or like to tame inflation, but actually to lower rates in order to fuel credit markets. Why? Because we think that it, his political business model or the business model of his party is basically cheap credit. And um, for cheap credit, obviously, you need lower rates. If we look just uh, over monetary policy uh, over the last 12 months, we see that um, the CBRT was rather toothless in terms of t uh, taming inflation. The emergency rate hike in January 2014 was not doing nothing to tame inflation. So we just we basically think that uh, inflationary developments are currently only driven by the oil price. So it's official, February 24th is the CBRT's next scheduled meeting. Interest rate pressures are likely to continue. However, some analysts believe Turkish investments are subject to political risks before the mid-2015 elections, which should bring the market to reject a zero real return, zero risk premium framework sooner than later. Do you agree? Basically, I agree. Turkey is an emerging market and it must offer some positive real interest uh, rate in order to m remain attractive given various political risks. Currently, the real interest rate remains positive largely only because of the oil price slump, which I already said is an external shock. Now, looking forward, the biggest political risk is still the independence of the CBRT. I am quite happy to see, uh, to uh, to see to have seen what 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 was happening yesterday, t where the CBRT demonstrated its willingness to defend its independence and its reputation by rejecting the emergency cut. But on the other hand, we still expect that the government will actually exercise increasing pressure on, on, um, on the monetary authority. This means <clears throat> for the next month until summer, the CBRT will enter an ever more difficult phase and the same holds for investors in Turkish bonds. But... Uh, I'm, I'm optimistic because what we saw yesterday is that the CBRT is definitely willing to fight. Um, although we cannot clearly say who will win this fight, I'm on, at the moment I'm on the positive side thinking that the CBRT will remain its independence. One sentence, what other political risks are, we, we still expect that um, at any moment uh, any street protests um, because of some government action could occur, which then again could feed into higher lira vol volatility and the like. Although an emergency cut is no longer on the wire, the US labour data due Friday should keep the TRY bills contained in the short run. But what is your outlook thereafter? So US labour market data matters for Turkey because of the Fed. Should the Fed see a positive development in these data, it may cut uh, or it may raise its rates earlier than than currently markets expect. We currently expect that it will, ra it will raise rates in summer. Higher rates in the United States mean less capital available for emerging markets such as Turkey, and this in turn means that uh, the pressure for Turkey to offer more attractive, i.e. higher real interests, uh, is increasing. Against this background, we see increased liver, we expect uh, increased liver volatility dependent on two factors. One factor is obviously new U.S. economic data coming in, which may change the mind of uh, the Fed. And the second is any announcement of the Turkish government or any urge to cut rates further. As of the direction, before yesterday, I thought liver will, fall, will lose value over the next coming months. Um, Actually, now I changed my mind, and I think that was a very strong signal. And think that CBRT 
will, as I said, fight to keep uh, its independence. And I'm more, therefore I'm optimistic that the lira will remain more or less flat uh, until summer, even though we may see volatility. Fabian, great to have you on the show. Thank you very much for your time and insights. Viewers, thank you very much for watching. Also today we have press review, industry catch-up and forecasts, so please do stick with us here at Ducoscopy TV. Goodbye for now.